Boo! Hello. Uh, hey, I'm at uh, the v my VCU office here at Stark House uh, today. Well, hope you all are doing well. Um, okay, uh, today I'm going to introduce some basics of probability theory. Some of you might have found uh, chapter six, or sorry, chapter seven of a roto to be difficult. So I'm going to break some things down and let you know what you should be focusing on. Um, I'm going to be incorporating another video somebody else made to help explore, explain some things. Uh, this just gets us really down to the basics. Uh, so uh, let's go. All right. So first of all, um, I'm going to take a look at my notes here. Uh, we want to know some of this formal notation. Some of you who have taken uh, symbolic logic or just our logic class uh, will do some of this better. And for some of you who have taken uh, Professor Brosnan, Kevin Brosnan's class, um, you'll have a leg up on this too. Actually, some of this will just be review. So uh, let's begin. Um, first, we want to know just how some of this uh, terminology works. So let's start with having like, we have like P, H, P parentheses, H parentheses. What does that mean? Um, and again, I, encur I, or I encourage you to be making your own notes, uh, like just writing down as I write. It helps you remember if you're writing down what I'm writing down. So this one just means probability that H is true. Okay, even more simple is the probability of H. Okay, and next is we want to understand what are called conditional probabilities. Uh, so the slash here, probability of H given E, and that's all that means. Um, probability that H is true given that E is true. All right. So uh, that's going to be the basics, understanding this. Uh, is going to be our cornerstone. So uh, I'm going to have you guys do some exercises uh, just on your own. Um, this will be very simple. Uh, let's use some uh, different letters. Let A be. Um, uh, let's say somebody's dealing cards. Okay. And uh, uh, let A stand for the proposition that the ace of spades is dealt. Okay, uh, B is the card is black, and uh, let's see, what do I have here? S is the card is a spade. Okay, I hope you can all see that. I think my marker is already dying a little bit. All right, so... Um, here I just picked a random, like the letter A stands for the ace of spades is dealt, B is the card is black, S is the card is a spade. So what I'm going to ask you to do is uh, try to calculate some, figure out some probabilities. So what's the probability of A? Um, so somebody deals a hand, what's the probability that the ace of spades is dealt? Um, next I'm going to be asking you to figure out what, what's the probability of A given B? So what's the probability that the ace of spades is dealt given that the card is black? And then probability, and lastly, what's the probability that the ace of spades is dealt given that the card is a spade? Okay, now uh, just as a reminder for some of you, um, there are 52 cards in the deck. Um, there is a four, four types, uh, there's a um, uh, there's a diamond, spade, clubs, uh, what's the hearts, right? So there's four. So there's um, there's going to be 13 spades, 13 diamonds, uh, 13 hearts, and 13 clubs. And that'll all add up to 52, so 52 cards in a deck. Um, and uh, half of a deck of cards is black, and half of a deck of cards is red. Okay, so um, pause and then fill in the answers for this, okay? Uh, so go, pause. Okay, well, I guess if you pause, I didn't have to have that awkward silence, but uh, that's life. Okay, so 
What's the probability that the, that an ace of spades is dealt? Well, um, there's one ace of spades in the whole deck, right? Uh, and if you dealt, if 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 you just deal, you know, if, uh, if uh, well, since there's only one out of fifty-two, the answer is going to be fifty-two. So if you got that, yay, nice job. Okay, now what's the probability that the um, the card is an ace of spades, given that you dealt a, a black card. Okay, so uh, so the thing about this is is this. Uh, all you know is that the card is black. Okay, but um, what's the probability that it's going to be an ace of spades, given that it's black? Well, to do that, you know that half the cards are, uh, which is 26, 26, 52 divided by 2 is 26. You know, half the cards is 26, the other half is 26. So the, the number of black cards is 26. Now among that 26 left, what's the chances that you would have gotten an ace of spades? So the, given that it was a black card, what's the chance that it's an ace of spades? Uh, well, out of 26 cards, random, it's going to be, if you randomly pick from that, it'll be 1 out of 26. All right, so these are uh, um, basic probability calculations. It's not even much of a calculation. You just kind of have to see the numbers. Um, okay, what's the probability that the card is a spade? Well, we know that um, there are 13 spades, right? 13 clubs, 13 diamonds, 13 hearts, all adding up to 52. All right. Um, so if you know that the card drawn is a spade, um, then what's the probability, given that, what's the probability that you got an ace of spades? Well, there's 13 spades, so if you pick randomly from one of those, you're going to get 1 out of 13. All right, so uh, now some of you, this is really obvious, you, you were able to calculate this right away. Uh, some of you have struggles with this. I know some of you just haven't done math in a while, so um, uh, make sure you can do these sorts of problems. Um, yeah, all right, so um, that's going to just be our very basic intro. And you can make up, make up problems of your own to practice, like just switch these uh, sentences. Like, what's the probability? You can let another proposition, C, be the proposition that the car dealt is a close. And then you can ask, what's the probability that the car, um, the card is a close, given that it's black? And then you could try to calculate that. So. Um, all right, so hopefully this introduces you gently um, to our uh, topic, and I'll see you in the next video. Done.